in the last lecture we obtained the expressions of current gain voltage gain and power gain in this lecture we will find out expressions of input impedance and output impedance we will start with input impedance input impedance input impedance is represented by z subscript i the input impedance is defined as the impedance seen from terminals 1 and 1 prime from ohm's law the input voltage vi is equal to the input current i1 multiplied with the input impedance zi so zi is simply equal to v1 divided by i1 now i will use the h parameter equations and from equation number 3 we have v1 equal to hi i1 plus hr v2 and in place of v2 in place of v2 we can write minus i2 rl so we have minus i2 rl in place of v2 now i will divide both the sides by i1 we have v1 by i1 on the left hand side then we have hi minus hr i2 divided by i1 rl i2 divided by i1 is equal to minus of ai so we have v1 divided by i1 equal to hi plus hr ai rl because current gain ai is the current gain and it is equal to minus of i2 divided by i1 we have already derived the expression of current gain ai and i will put the expression of current ai in this equation v1 by i1 is equal to zi the input impedance then we have hi plus hr inside the bracket minus hf divided by 1 plus h o r l this is the expression of current gain on simplifying the right hand side we have z i equal to h i minus h r h f divided by 1 by r l plus h o so this is the final expression of the input impedance and this expression is true for all the three transistor configurations the next part of this lecture is derivation of output impedance the derivation of output impedance is little bit different as compared to the derivation of input impedance the output impedance is the impedance seen from the terminals 2 and 2 prime and to calculate the output impedance ZO we need to short circuit the input source that is VS we need to short circuit VS and we need to open circuit the output terminal this means RL must be infinity and VS must be zero so these are the two conditions to calculate the output impedance in examination redraw this circuit for the output impedance output impedance from Ohm's law the output impedance is equal to the output voltage divided by the output current so ZO is equal to V2 the output voltage and the output current is I2 from H parameters equation the output current is equal to HF I1 plus HOV2 so we have ZO equal to V2 divided by HF I1 plus HOV2 and let's say this is equation number 1 now to find out the second equation we will apply Kirchhoff's voltage law in the input loop Vs is equal to 0 so KVL will give us minus of minus of I1 RS minus I1 HI minus I1 HI then we have minus of HRV2 minus of HRV2 equal to 0 or we can write or we can write 
I1 RS plus HI plus HR V2 equal to 0 and from this equation we can obtain the value of input current I1 which is equal to minus of HR V2 divided by resistance RS plus HI. HI is the input impedance parameter and now we can put the value of I1 in this equation let's say this is equation number two so from equation number one and equation number two we have the output impedance we have the output impedance ZO equal to V2 divided by HF inside the bracket minus HR V2 divided by resistance RS plus HI plus HOV2 after simplification the output impedance is equal to RS plus HI divided by HO HI minus HF HR plus HO RS and if you remember the last presentation I told you HO HI minus HF HR is equal to delta H so we can write ZO is equal to RS plus HI divided by delta H delta H plus HO RS so this is the final expression of the output impedance and this is all for this lecture in the next lecture we will derive the expressions for overall current gain and overall voltage gain